Natalie here. Today I want to talk about three basic things regarding gluten-free pie baking. The first thing is why do you really want to use potato flour in gluten-free pie baking? What are the different pie forms? And what is a pie shield? How do you use it? And how can you make your own so you can make delicious gluten-free festive pies for the holidays that will not only outshine its glutinous cousins but will fool anyone to think it's the real deal. There's one flour which is essential for making really nice, flaky, delicious pie crust, and that is potato flour. So potato flour is not potato starch. In the States, you can buy potato flour and you can buy potato starch. And potato flour is really dehydrated potatoes. So what's really happening as far as I understand is the potatoes are boiled mashed and then dehydrated, which then creates potato flakes. And those flakes can be ground up as flour. Or maybe they get flour or get milled as flour. Not quite sure about that. But ultimately, you get something called potato flour, which is yellow and just looks like instant mashed potatoes. So what happened to me is that we moved to Ireland one and a half years ago, and I was planning to make some pies and tarts but I couldn't find any potato flour. And well, for correction, I did find a lot of potato flour, which just looked like this. So potato starch. So here I am, really wanted to make an apple pie and I was chasing down all the different stores. I'm running to Tesco, I'm going to Dunn's, I'm Googling like no person's business to find potato flour to get delivered to Ireland and I couldn't find it. So what I do nowadays is I buy my instant mashed potato flakes, put them in the blender, grind them up and voila, I have my potato flour. When you're getting started with pie baking, you may not have all the pie baking tools like a pie pan and a pie shield. There are different pie pans out there. There are glass pie pans and pie pans which are made out of thicker aluminum, which you can normally buy in a supermarket. My personal preference are glass pie pans because they're much more evenly brown and bake a pie. And the thicker aluminum pie pans normally browns it and bakes it a little bit too fast for my taste. When you're just getting started though, you can just start with one of those cheaper aluminum pie pans, which you can buy really in any dollar store or the supermarket for a dollar or five for a dollar even. Something you have to keep in mind with these aluminum pie pans is they are smaller than a regular pie pan and you will have some dough and some filling leftovers. And then you have your mini pie pan where you can make your own personal pie and you have your own little breakfast the next day. Let's talk about pie shields and what is a pie shield? You want to bake the pie with the pie shield for the first 40 minutes to avoid the edges of the pie crust which are thinner to burn and to get too dark. Then for the last 20 minutes you uncover the pie crust and now you get this really beautiful golden brown crust what you really would love to have in a pie. I have a fancy silicone pie shield or well several which I bought over the years but when you get started you don't really need a silicone pie shield. You can very easily make your own out of aluminum foil and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Rip off some aluminum foil Place the pie form upside down on the aluminum foil. Trace the pie form with a marker. Add 1 to 2 inches to the outline of the pie form and cut out that imaginary outline. Fold the circle in half. Now quarter the circle. Add one inch to the inside of the circle and cut out the inner circle. Unfold the aluminum foil and straighten it out. Now place the aluminum foil on the top of the pie and fold over the edges of the pie shield. And that is how you make a pie shield out of aluminum foil. Thank you for watching my video today. 
If you enjoyed what you learned today, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. Out of a thicker aluminum, aluminum.